everyone, welcome back to another Marnie and Michael Monday. Today it's all about Michael because <laughs> we touched a little bit on it in the uh, Marnie Minute when we talked about the Nordstrom sale. I hope you guys got some great stuff. I did. Um, Michael put some links in there to some items that he thought were important that every guy should have in their wardrobe. And I thought it would be a great idea if he expanded on those things <laughs> and talked a little bit about yeah. how he chooses his wardrobe and how he puts stuff together and... The whole man wardrobe escapes me. But I came up with, looking back on it and looking at my wardrobe, as Marnie was alluding to, kind of three basic tenets, like cardinal rules that are, it's almost foolproof. Um, even if you're not a guy or your husband or boyfriend is not really focused into fashion, because I'm really not focused no. into fashion much at all. No, but you'd like to look but sharp. I look sharp. I think that's the key. Um, I always looked up to some of the people in my family older than me who... I thought I always looked really sharp, and so it's always I've always made a concerted effort since I've been an adult to look sharp. And so, my, my uh, kind of three rules. Let's go for it. Rule number one: browns and blues. So it's kind of color rule number ah, one: okay. browns and blues. If you're wearing blue, you want to make sure it's kind of offset with brown tones. So. You want me to give you an example? I would love an example. Basically, I've got. <laughs> you know, I have no idea of, what you're talking about. I have about. kind of three categories of clothes. So the first would be kind of really nice. You're dressing up because I'm going to court or I'm wearing a suit because we're going to uh, some type of a fancy affair. So yeah, that dressy, really dressy. Not business casual, but dressy. Suit clothes. Suit. A nice navy suit. I like it to be a solid navy. You could have kind of a very subtle pinstripe navy suit. But I personally, if you're just looking for one staple in this category of color, I would go with a solid navy suit. It's got to be a two-button suit, not three-button, and it has to have a single vent in the back. So no sometimes ladies will notice that guys have these vents in the back mm -hmm. on either side. Single vent, two-button, navy suit. Now, what do I mean by brown and blue? If I'm wearing that navy suit, Marnie knows this over the years. Yeah, I know. I know what you're talking about. 100% of the time, I'm not wearing a black belt or some other colored belt. It's a brownish. Usually, it's a darker brown like a cordovan, deep, dark, brown belt. I always match my belt to my wristwatch and my shoes. And so if I'm so if I'm wearing that brown, which is easy, you got the brown and blue, I got the blue suit, I'm doing the brown belt, I gotta match that brown belt now to my watch. And so for instance, I just so happen to be watch, wearing, because I'm wearing blue right now, I'm wearing a, uh, a brown kind of dress watch, which you could easily wear with a navy suit. It's got a leather, hold that up. brown band, you can see <laughs> it's that. Nice yep. to this. But then, you know, I, I'm a stickler for shoes. I'm, I'm a shoe guy. I come from a family who owned shoe stores or owned a shoe store. And so um, if you're wearing a dress suit or anything that's dressy, dressy like that, um, it's got to match your belt. So brown or a cordovan. I like the deep, dark brown. Mm -hmm. And it could never have anything but a wood sole. You know, a really nice. Spend a little bit of money on a nice pair of shoes with a wood sole and you could take it to a cobbler or yeah. a shoe, shoe guy that we have who could resole it, you know, every couple of years. That's true. Yeah, if you're a guy, you only really need a handful of shoes. That's it's it. I'm like going to show building. you. Really, you only need a few. Yeah. So that's your that's your suit right there in terms of your brown your, your browns and blues. Now, the next category, which is your kind of day-to-day -day business casual wear that you're wearing to work or you're just going to, you know, we go to temple or you go to church. You're not going to wear a suit every time. So uh, what we're talking about there is khaki pants or jeans. So if I'm wearing jeans, nice jeans, or a pair of khaki type pants. Um, I'm gonna pair. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pair that with an Oxford cloth shirt. If you're wearing kind of a jean or a khaki pant, that goes really well with a bluish. Or you know, you, maybe you can get a nice kind of soft pink type Oxford cloth shirt. Uh -huh. But the key here is when you have that color going in a business casual setting, it's the same principle in terms of color. I always say uh, brown belt, and then it's got to have. Kind of brown shoes, but because it's business casual, I typically have a less dressy belt. So you're not wearing necessarily wood soled uh, dress shoes, but I do like to wear dress ropers, the Lucchese ropers, and I'll have that in a deep kind of cordovan color. Yeah. Or I also have Johnston and Murphy, I think they're called Chucka boots. They're kind of like that, you know, New York kind of walking boot. They're really cool slip on boots. All right, so that's kind of the shoes that you would get. And then the last category would be if you're just wearing like what I wear is golf shorts. So if I'm wearing a pack khaki pair of golf shorts, uh, I got a golf shirt that goes with it, but I always wear kind of a brown type of belt. 
And then, um, you know, if I'm, if I'm wearing shoes and I'm not on the golf course, but I'm like going to the golf course, I'm just walking around with Marnie. I have a nice pair of loafers, you know, or, um, uh, I guess loafers is the best way yeah. to describe it. Yeah. Right. So that's my Browns and blues right there. Ah, I see how you did that. So yeah. Just like you walked that. us through formal dressy, casual and casual. Exactly. With yeah. the Browns and blues. Yeah, okay. Browns and blues. So the What's next your... category is blacks and grays. Okay. So if you're wearing blacks and grays together, uh, you want to make sure that you, for instance, if I'm wearing a dressy suit, I like to have a nice charcoal gray suit in the wardrobe. I prefer, if you're looking for a staple, just to have a plain non-pinstripe. But if you're going to introduce a pinstripe, I would say subtle pinstripe. Okay. Nothing too garish or... Light gray or dark gray? I like kind of a dark gray to begin with. I mean, light gray is something you can creatively get into later on. But if you're looking for a staple, a nice dark charcoal gray suit, you really okay. can't go wrong with that. Uh, accent or accessories for that would be a black belt. Uh, you get a, a, a wristwatch that has a black band on it, or you can do kind of like a platinum, kind of a steel, steel yeah. type band would be okay, but I, I do like those black leather bands. And then the shoes would be same thing as with the browns, but this one's going to be a black. Allen Edmonds, kind of Brooks Brothers, got to be a wood sole for me. That's how I do it. And if I'm wearing something business casual where I've got, you know, like a dark pair of trousers, trousers like black or charcoal gray tra trousers, mm -hmm. That looks really good with a white Oxford cloth shirt. It would also look good with maybe a kind of a, a little bit of a subtle pink type shirt. But again, once you get into that kind of color tone where you've got grays and blacks over overwhelmingly like on the pants, I like to, I like to pair that with a black belt um, and a black pair of shoes. So I'm learning here. Honestly, I never really thought about it. Yeah. For a guy, you though. match your watch, your belt, and your shoes. I do. I do. And okay. it seems to work great and it looks sharp. Yeah. Uh, same thing with the golf clothes. Um, you know, you, you got kind of a dark pair of uh, golf shorts, like a black pair of Nike golf shorts. I'll put a red shirt or a dark green shirt, but I'll always have that with a black belt and then kind of like a black loafers or slip on type shoes, even flip flops. Okay. Have you noticed that I have not worn athletic shoes with any of these things yet? Yes, because you that's have my third tenet. Oh my gosh. The third cardinal rule. I picked this up in college yes, from you. a roommate who will go unnamed. But he told me he came from a, uh, a family of uh, sisters, so not surprisingly, <laughs> he knew a little something about fashion, and his sisters were very fashionable, New York kind of fashionable people. And he introduced me to the concept, which, you know, to this day, 30 almost years later, it's yep. stuck with me, and that is if you're wearing athletic gear, in particular, if you're wearing tennis shoes or sneakers, you should be participating in an athletic activity at the time you're wearing them. <laughs> oh, so is what does that mean? Pain. It's the easiest thing. If you're wearing khaki pants <clears throat> or if, even if you're wearing jeans, for me, I do not wear sneakers. No. At all. And so, you know, it's an easy concept. If I'm, if I'm wearing kind of an athletic t-shirt, uh, I pair that with a pair of mesh athletic shorts. Like I'm going to the gym or going to the basketball court and working out. And then I'm wearing my gym shoes or my uh, training shoes. Can I can I attempt this? Sure so you can. Michael has drilled this like from when we first started dating. This was his thing. I don't know why this rule stuck with me, but it was introduced to me I think sophomore year in college. So basically, the only reason you should be wearing gym shoes is if you're doing something athletic and wearing athletic clothes. Right. Otherwise. Yeah. And, and the, that applies and, to and, girls and, and the too. golf and the golf clothes that's not included in no, the athletic clothes because that's not golf a sport. clothes you have special golf shoes, but. As you're going in route from home or somewhere in those golf clothes to the golf uh, locker room and you're putting your shoes on or whatever you do out of the back of your car, that's the only time then you, you wear anything but kind of those loafers or slip-ons. So. Okay, well, thank you for that. Um, yeah, that's my rules right there. That's my three rules. Browns and, browns and blues, blacks and grays, and then set the athletic stuff aside, including the shoes and sneakers, as being something that they only wear with each other. That's it. Now, I should add that these so guidelines... So that crazy that I know no, that? No, <laughs> no. I think that these guidelines are really good if you want to go a very conservative route. And there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. Um, it's always better when in doubt of how to dress, men right. or women, right. to err on the side of caution, conservative. And then once you are more yeah. familiar with the environment in which you are in, then you can, you know, like a work setting, mm -hmm. then you can, you know, jazz it up. and. You may, may want to jazz it up a little bit. I always, in my eye, I always felt... Some of the stuff that I think you're alluding to about jazzing it up just looks a little bit of, a little bit funny. Maybe it's my personality, or it's just you know my personal appearance it doesn't really correlate to that. But other people are a little more creative; they're more artistic looking, and I just don't fit you're into not, that category. I kind of I kind of know who I am. 
And that's just not my thing. And don't you think that's the best tip of all? Dress to be who you are. Yeah, dress to be who you are. Absolutely. Yeah. So thanks, Michael, yeah. for sharing your insights. Yep. I will uh, list all the uh, suggested items in the description box below. And I hope you okay. enjoyed the visual aids. So let's be nice to Michael for stepping out of his comfort zone and uh, taking the helm on this conversation. Yeah. And uh, let me know what you think. If this was helpful for, for me as a woman who can barely dress herself, I found this to be very interesting and educational. Hope that it's helpful for you, whether you're shopping for your husband, your boyfriend, your kids. Your kids, yeah. Um, let me your know boys. what you thought of this and if we want Michael to expand on any other future men's fashion topics. Thank uh, you. No. Yes. I think that's the limit of my expertise no. on this subject. We'll now. see. Thank you so yeah. much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey guys, welcome to a new concept that I'm doing. It's basically a first impressions video and then I'll check in throughout the day and let you know how things are going. So almost a year ago, 